A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Love was certainly the central theme of Jesus' ministry. And love is what our Lord told us to live in when he told us to not only love God with all that we are, but also to love one another as ourselves. And to always make sure that we have the perfect example of what this love looks like. We have the Trinity which we celebrate and honor in a special way today. And the relationship of the Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, is a relationship of love. The Trinity is a beautiful example of love, community, and relationship. An example that we are called to follow and to live out in our own lives. The Trinity is a revelation to us that God is absolute love. And it is not a static love. Love is not something that we can possess or control. Actually, we can only experience love by truly engaging in the act of loving and in participating in relationships that are based in love themselves. Love can only be action. The love that dwells within the Trinity, that love that God has for us, it's a dynamic love that encompasses all aspects of love, of relationship, and of community. So think about it. Try and visualize it, and I think most importantly, try and feel it. The Trinity is love loving us. And that, my friends, is love in action. God loves us so much that he came down here to be with us, to identify with us, to walk with us, to teach us, and as our gospel tells us, to save us. Again, love in action. And Jesus shows us all throughout the gospels what it really looked like to put this love into action, to be willing to be of service. We see how we all must be willing to get on our hands and knees and wash the feet of one another to wash the feet of our neighbors, just as Jesus modeled for us. And that right there, my friends, is a beautiful vision of the type of community that the Trinity calls us to live out in our own lives. Love. Love at its base is the greatest strength that there is. It's out of love that we actually put ourselves into service for one another. It's out of love that we may be willing to put our lives on the line for one another. And it's important to know that things like hatred and racism and division, those are based in absolute weakness. They are based in the fear of love. They are based in the power of what love can do. And it's with that great love 
that we can and we will drive out and crush the weakness of hatred, the weakness of racism, the weakness of anything that tries to separate love, that love that God has for all of his children. And the Trinity, my friends, the Trinity is always right there in every moment of our lives to guide us, to walk with us in that love of love loving us. Think about how many times throughout our days that we call upon the blessing and the love and the relationship of the Holy Trinity before our morning prayers. Hopefully, each one of us wakes up in the morning, and even if we simply say, thank you, God, thank you for another day. Thank you for the blessing of creation. Thank you for the blessing of your love and your relationship. Before we have a meal, as we drive past the Catholic Church, because we know we're passing by the Blessed Eucharist, hopefully at the end of our days, when we thank God for the gift of that day that we've experienced, we pray. And I'm sure many more times throughout our days. But think about what it is that we do in these moments. We call upon the Trinity. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And we do this because we know that we have a Father who loves us so much. That he created us. He created us, his children, in his own image. In that image of love. And that love of the Father given to us, that we do nothing to earn. No matter how much we may try at times, we also can do nothing to ever remove that love that God has for us. Simply because God loves us. We are his children. Love loving us. And we see Jesus' love in action for us each time we look to the crucifix. The ultimate example of love in action. And we know that we have a Holy Spirit who not only guides the church, who not only guides us, but when we are truly open to it, when we are in a relationship with the Holy Spirit, it guides us in each one of our actions, each one of our moments throughout our days. So right there, my friends, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, love in action, love loving us.